Donkey Kong is here with a game that was probably inspired by Donkey Kong, and that game is Pick X Pete for your Magnavox Odyssey 2, my first game review for the first game system I ever owned, and this is some awesome box art. Let's go ahead and take Pick X Pete, let's pop it in my Odyssey 2 and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Pickaxe Pete was published by Magnavox and carries a copyright year 1982. It was programmed by Magnavox super programmer Ed Everett, who programmed the majority of the Odyssey 2 library. In Brazil, the game was renamed Didi and the Enchanted Mine and featured a licensed popular Brazilian comedic character on the box art. The back of the box states the following. Pickaxe Pete, your Pickaxe Pete, the legendary prospector who struck it rich in the fabled Misty Mountain Mine. There's so much gold in them thar hills, it seems to bust out of the ground all by itself. But lose a pick and the bonanza can bowl you over. Be ready for fast action, locked doors, secret keys, disappearing ladders, leaping leaps, and bounding bounds going on every which way at once. Ten different playing fields for endless challenge. Advanced digital scoring with memory displays high player's name and score as well as current player's score. Sync sound action, any number can play. Pickaxe Pete is an early platformer for one player only. When you power on the game, you can press 0 through 9 to select one of the 10 screen setups. Each screen has three doors and ladders that appear and disappear. Just like several Odyssey 2 games, Pickaxe Pete is a single life game. Boulders randomly come out of the doors. Pete starts the game with a pickaxe, which he can use to crush boulders, but after a while the axe will break and disappear. If you are hit by a boulder while axeless, your game will end and a new game will start. If your score is a new high score, you could type in your name, but scores are erased when the system is turned off or resets. The joystick moves Pete and is used to climb ladders. What the button does depends on the position of the joystick or the position of Pete's hands when standing still. When both hands or the joystick is straight up, Pete will jump straight up. When one hand or the joystick is pointing diagonally up, Pete will jump up in that direction. When both hands or the joystick are straight down, Pete will hit the ground. When one hand or the joystick is diagonally down, Pete will slide on the ground in that direction when the button is pressed. When two boulders crash into one another, a new yellow boulder is created. These boulders can go straight down the screen, and if no axes or keys are on the screen, they can create either a new pickaxe for you to pick up that will fall to the bottom, or create a key that will float to the top platform. Usually, touching a door will get Pete temporarily stuck, but when you touch a key, Pete will flash for a short period of time. While flashing, you can enter a door, going to a new screen that can alter the platforms. The platforms will match the door color. This could be problematic if you go in a black door, since the background is black, basically making the platforms invisible. Scoring wise, you get one point for evading boulders, three points for crushing a boulder with your pickaxe, five points for picking up a new pickaxe, 10 points for picking up a key, and 20 points if you use the key to enter a door. The manual also gives rankings based on your final score. Graphically speaking, the game is pretty blocky, but I did like the pickaxe swinging and door entering animations. I also really enjoyed the limited sound effects. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for Everyone rating if released today. Currently at price chart com the game has a value of ten dollars loose ten dollars complete and fourteen dollars new so what do i think of pickaxe pete this is such a fun game it's a unique take on the donkey kong formula and it controls very well it's also mildly addicting and since the game restarts right after you die you'll most likely want to keep on playing it's one of those games that if you just looked at it without playing it you might not be that impressed but once you start playing it you can find yourself hooked usually at this time i rank the game against other games on the same system System. But since this is my first Odyssey 2 game review, it will have to wait until I review another Odyssey 2 game. But I will say this, Pickaxe Pete is a must-have if you own an Odyssey 2 and other Odyssey 2 games will have a hard time overtaking it in my future rankings. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. Click the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And sign up at patreon.com slash gamer just like Jim L, Robert M, Joe T, Rick R, David F, and Ron F did who all voted for me to cover the Odyssey 2 this month to support the show and gain access to exclusive perks. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the No Square Gamer. Take care and watch out for them thar boulders.